Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be planning out the week of November 14th through November 20th. <laughs> Had to think for a minute there in my Moxie Life Planner. So I'm going to be using this week's $2 Tuesday kit from Chrissy Ann Designs. Actually, this is the week prior, so that's not this current week's $2 Tuesday. I'm always like a week behind on these things because they are just gorgeous and I'm trying to go through like what I have, but I really liked this kit for this week because it kind of has some fall vibes. I know that I shared with you guys that I don't really have any more fall kits because <laughs> I have um, kind of put a pause on ordering um, a lot of extra stickers because well, one, I get these and two, I just, I want to use up what I have. So I'm going to set aside what I'm not using, um, but these are fun. I would definitely check out the $2 Tuesday kits from Chrissy Ann Designs because it's a really great way to um, purchase her stickers. So I'm just going to kind of keep in arm's reach what I think I'm going to use for this week. Definitely those date covers. And my favorite thing too are these journaling kits. I have been loving these and I'm trying to figure out how I can incorporate them in my systems for 2023. And I'm really trying to figure out my memory keeping situation um, for this upcoming year because I want to use this planner for memory keeping. I'm sure you guys are like, oh my God, stop moving all the stickers. Sorry about that. <laughs> But I want to use my Moxie Life for memory keeping, but also I feel like I need more space, almost more like a bullet journal type of thing. So I haven't quite decided that part because I feel like with my memory keeping, I don't want to be limited to like the size of photos that I use and um, things like that. So I haven't quite decided what I want to do for... Uh, 2023 for the memory keeping part of it. Um, I have like one of those Canon Ivies so that I can print the smaller photos. I am not getting these numbers on here straight. I don't know what the deal is. I think I might have had a little bit too much coffee this morning. <laughs> but anyway, I've really been thinking about my system for 2023 and not like overdoing it. I'm also kind of maybe not 100% sure not sure that I want to continue to use a whole lot of kits. Obviously for an undated planner like this one that I'm currently in, uh, I mean, you still don't actually need kits, but you need something to write the dates down, right? I could just do a little bit of pen, highlighter, letter everything, but in the new Moxie Life, it will be dated. So I got to figure out what I'm doing with my life is what I was trying to say in the world's longest way possible. <laughs> There's so many things that I want to use. I even shared today on my Instagram stories that I think I want to use the Hobonichi Weeks, um, which kind of just blew me away. I really was not thinking of using that planner at all. Um, and then, of course, I saw some things online and I was like, okay, it's calling me back again. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing I have a love-hate relationship with that planner because of the color of the paper. Like I truly do not understand why all of their other planners don't have that color paper, but the Weeks does. I would just, if someone has some intel on that decision making, <laughs> I mean, maybe it's very intentional. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it seems very intentional. I'll say that much. All right, let's get these date covers down. So this past week, we, well, yesterday on Saturday, we celebrated our anniversary, even though our anniversary is here on the 14th, um, because, I mean, really, I don't know what adult has time to celebrate during the week on a Monday. So <laughs> we just went ahead and had a really nice dinner at one of our favorite seafood places. I mean, I pretty much ate my weight in shrimp and crab legs, so there's that <laughs> it was absolutely delicious worth it oh my gosh we also we also got dessert but I we ended up getting dessert to go because it was just at that point I was like I might I might explode or pass out <laughs> but it was so good it was so so good um and it was just a good time so Glad we got to do that. I want to use the this week sticker. I'm just not sure I want to use 
that sticker that says this week. It's like in the black. Let's see if the journaling kit has something. I thought there was a this week sticker. Maybe not. I know that it's on another sheet. Here it is. There's this week. And then I'm just going to use a different event label for that. I know that's being extra extra, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so we'll just go with this color. The green, I think, will be okay. Anywho. So now, um, okay, so the other thing we got done yesterday on Saturday was we finally got our tree up. So we went with a Christmas tree that is flocked. So all that white shit, like all over it. Oh my God, I'm not, it looks so good. It looks so good. If that's your kind of tree, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's our kind of tree for now, you know, um, very, very pretty on the box. It was a huge, huge mess getting it out of the box. Um, still really pretty. It's not going anywhere. I was a little irritated with myself though, because I was like, oh my God, I really hope that I don't have a whole season of this thing just shedding everywhere. So far, so good. Not going to lie. So far, so good. Um, just getting out of the box, it shedded a lot. Like there was just crap everywhere. Um, and then today there's not crap everywhere. <laughs> we haven't decorated it yet though. I'm going to put this good morning thing down on Tuesday because that's where I love putting it. Um, we haven't decorated it yet though. Starting I think last year or the year before what I started doing was, um, we'd put up the tree and the lights and then like that's it. And it would just kind of ease into the season in that way. And then the weekend of Thanksgiving, we would actually decorate it together as a family. So I think that's what we're gonna do. However, I feel like because the tree is so white, I'm really worried that my decor is just going to like disappear. <laughs> so I honestly wanted to go to the at home store and I was considering getting some, maybe some updated decor. I don't know. Is that completely necessary? Absolutely not, but still, but still, you know. All right, so today's video is this plan with me. So weekly plan with me. I am going to do a haul video on Wednesday. Just kind of sharing some of the things that I have purchased recently and that have come in the mail. And then Friday will be the Hobonichi Cousin video. So gotta make some space for that planner because I love it so much. Um, <laughs> I was kind of hesitant about doing the haul video because you know you see people post their opinions online as they should, you know. Um, and you know, there's just been some chatter about um, ex excess use. And it wasn't even like in a nice way. It was just basically putting down the entire planner community, which was interesting. Anyway, um, I saw where they were kind of making fun of people doing their hauls and things like that. Anyway, long story short, I thought that it was funny that I was even thinking of not posting a video because someone felt was just so strong about hauls and stuff. I'm all for using what you have, but if you want to purchase things with your money and share what you purchase, I think that you should do that as well. That's all I'm going to say about that. Although I am still, like I said, very much so in the season of, I want to use what I have because uh, I, even, I even like was very hesitant on ordering Christmas kits. I've ordered two. That's it. I was like, nope, not even doing anything more than that. Oh, let's get down the weekend sticker before I forget. I love these, this new style of weekend sticker that Kristen is doing. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and speaking of Kristen, by the time, well, actually Monday, there will still be some Pink Friday stuff going on. So right now it's currently um, Chrissy Ann Designs Pink Friday weekend. So she has like a daily like freebie that you could get throughout the four days, the Friday through Monday. So today's the last day. Definitely check that out. There is a link down below for you guys if you want to use it. Let's use these checklists. I've been using these. I already did my weekly reflections. I'm so proud of myself. And I'm really liking how the checklists look in here again. I stopped using them for the longest time. Um, 
I just realized I didn't do one week of reflections and goals or the month view, which is interesting. It's only because I don't have a kit for November. So I was like, I'm just going to skip planning the month of November in here because I can. <laughs> Anyway, I was wanting to look back at using the checklist in here and I'm really liking how it's looking. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Um, is some of this repetitive? Sure. Um, does it bother me? Not in the slightest. I get that question a lot. You know, like, is every planner, does every planner have like an absolute different purpose? Not necessarily. Um, you have to do what you're comfortable with. A lot of this is a hobby for me, so I don't necessarily feel like uh, my life depends on using a planner. I feel like um, I use it because it's fun and it brings me a lot of joy and I don't know. I just really like it. And sometimes that means writing things down multiple times. In different planners because I like the different styles of the different planners. I also love supporting a lot of the small shops and businesses within our community. Okay, about halfway through the checklist. So anyway, like I was saying, you have to do what works for you and seeing people online using multiple planners might not make sense to you, but it doesn't have to. So I always kind of want to urge people like you don't you might ask someone why they're doing what they're doing, but it doesn't have to make sense to you. If that makes, if that makes sense, right? It doesn't have to make sense for you to work for that person. And so a lot of times I see people being very critical of, you know, people using multiple planners, all of that. And they're like, they can't wrap their head around it. And I'm like, but you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, it's got to work for the person using it, not for you. It, it might not make sense to you. Um, and that's, you're going to, you're going to be just fine. All right. <laughs> so let's put down the, what did I do last week? I think I did. Yep. Meals and then habits. So I want to do that again. Um, so I even did, speaking of next year's planners, I did a little bit of brainstorming on like what I wanted to use. And I do still want to use my Moxie Life as my main planner. I think the Hobonichi cousin is along is coming along for the long haul for me. Um, I'm looking for the habit trackers that seem to have disappeared. There they are. Um, and so I think it's the Moxie Life, the Hobonichi cousin, and possibly one more planner. I just haven't decided. Uh, I really wanted it to be two. It might be three. It might still only end up being two. <laughs> I haven't completely decided. So still up in the air with all of that, but excited excited nonetheless for all of the planning possibilities but i honestly had a moment where i was like do i need to use my hope and Ichi cousin and i was like oh my god i can't believe i even entertained that thought yes i do <laughs> yes i need my hope and Ichi cousin what did i do last week with the title of that oh do this now that's got to be in here in the journaling kits i know it's in here somewhere um, oh, let's do the do, let's do this this week. We'll do that. I love that. Love that a lot. It's a little bit longer than I think I need it to be. Oh, no, that works. It'll be centered right on there. All right, so we've got that done. And then I think I've just got a couple of appointments this week. And I want to use the Don't Forget sticker because that appointment is on Tuesday. I have a follow up appointment with my. PCM for this new medication that I've been put on that I absolutely friggin hate. I gave it a good month long go because I knew if I went back for my follow up any sooner than a month, they were going to tell me that I had to try it a little bit longer. So I literally had an alarm set on my phone <laughs> and was like, uh, day 27, I'm making an appointment because I knew it'd be like a whole week later. Um, so I have that appointment on Tuesday and I'm trying to be hopeful trying to be uh, hopeful that it's a good appointment. I'm very vocal about being an advocate for yourself when you go to the doctors. So I have that on Tuesday and then on Friday afternoon, I've got my chiropractor appointment and that is at three. I think I mentioned before that 
I um, am going to stick with the weekly appointments. However, I missed last week because of just my really strict schedule with open enrollment and having to really be uh, present for that. I think I'm going to do the noted sticker here because I definitely don't want to forget about that. It was really hard to get this Friday appointment. I was like, please uh, see me on Friday because I... Um, it's just easier for me because it's closer to my house, which means I don't have to leave work Monday through Thursday. Um, I work from home on Fridays, so it makes my life a little bit easier to just leave the house for this appointment. And then Friday, this Friday is Friday Night Live. And I think in the journaling kits, there was something that I wanted to use for this. I think it's somewhere in here. Maybe not. Let's see if there's a Steve that will go with it really well. And I think I'm gonna use this lighter green one because this is where he's smiling. <laughs> kind of coordinates. I like to keep the colors together, but this'll work. All right, so that's gonna be at 7 p.m. I realize I skipped over a couple of things. And we'll see if I can get a guest for this Friday. I love having guests on. Um, that makes it super fun, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes, but we'll see if I can get those um, guests and things lined up and all of that and go from there. All right, what else do I need to do? So Thursday, Definitely need to get some laundry done. We're gonna focus on that. Do all the damn laundry. That's what I need to do. Okay, I thought I had laundry stickers for Chrissy and Designs, and apparently I do not. <laughs> that is okay. I almost wanna use a smaller flag then because I was gonna layer it with a script sticker, and now that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. So I might use the darker green little flag. Put that one there. All right, so there is that. And then I kind of want to use the Get It Done sticker over this area. And then the Today I Will. So like these colors are kind of overlapping one another, which I think is really cool. Um, anyway, I think it looks pretty neat. <laughs> um, definitely want to put a sticker for our anniversary. And I think I'm going to put it further down here at least I think that that will look okay and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna grab the celebrations collection sticker book and see if I can't grab a celebrate sticker and actually there is an anniversary sticker that's the one that I'm gonna use maybe a celebrate sticker maybe we can combine both <laughs> so like celebrate 25 year anniversary that might work Oh, I kind of like how that looks. It's a little bit crooked, but yeah, I just wanted to see if that would actually work. Let's bring it down just a little bit more. That will work for our 25 year anniversary. Love that. Love the way that that turned out. All right, and then on Thursday, that is payday. And let's see. I think I'm just gonna use this label here. All right, on Saturday, I wanna use this tidy up sticker because I think we'll be doing the majority of our cleaning on Sunday. And then on Sunday, I want to focus on getting the last minute list for our Thanksgiving. And I think that's just what I'm gonna put on there. Thanksgiving prep. And I'm gonna use the do this now sticker. I'm just gonna layer it on there. I am very thankful because I'm taking a bunch of PTO the week of Thanksgiving and I'm so, so excited for it because I normally don't take um, a bunch of days off together. Usually it's just a day added on to a weekend kind of thing and I'm so excited to be taking a little bit of extra time off. All right, let's do, let's get the weather down for the week. That's not something I've done for a couple of weeks and I'm excited because we might actually have some legitimate fall weather. We haven't had that recently. It has just been hotter than normal and it's been kind of miserable. So, all right, Monday, the high is 60, low is 53. I can definitely deal with that. Tuesday is 71, 58. A little bit warmer than what I care for. 
<laughs> Wednesday, 65, 42. And then Thursday is 57. Ooh, 38. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm sure most people are like, what in the world? Why do you want it to be that cold? Because it is freaking awesome. Um, you will you will agree once you start going through menopause. Anyway, um, 55, low of 40 on Friday. So very excited for that. All right, habits for the week, at least for this week. <laughs> I think we're going to stick with the no soda. It's been a little bit easier because we aren't even bringing soda into the house. Um, so that's been helpful. And then I want to stick with working out and reading. Speaking of reading, I started reading this bad boy. <laughs> started, I mean, when I say started, I'm like right there. Um, and it's, it's a beast of a book. I may get in here and start like annotating some things I started highlighting and I was like, oh, I have tons of these page flags, so I might start that as well. It's very much like what a lot of people told me where it reads more like a history book and I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> That's actually how I would prefer to read or the style of reading that I prefer to consume. Um, so I'm kind of excited about it. I... I'm not a fast reader, and since I'm going to be doing some annotating in here, I'm guessing this is going to take me like five years. Just kidding. <laughs> At least a few months. So every now and then, I might just bring this book into a plan with me and let you guys know how far I have made it because, yeah, it's 700 and some pages long, I think. Uh, eh, right at 700, I think, just over. There's a whole area with the family tree, and that's the part that has me like... This is awesome. I might be like nerding out a little bit here, but <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm reading lately. And yeah, trying to take it in a little bit at a time because reading it versus seeing it on the show are two very different things, very different things. Anyway, that is it for this week's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.